Am I the asshole for giving my family the silent treatment over their slut bet? I'm a freshman in college and before college I was homeschooled basically my whole life. Because of that I have pretty bad social anxiety. Regardless of that, I was really excited to go to college and finally have freedom, apart from the COVID safety measures. My parents really didn't want me to go and threw a huge fit about it since they think I only want to go to sleep around and drink. Every time I spoke to them while I was away they would try to get me to come back home so I stopped answering their calls as often which really pissed my mom off. I went from talking to my parents multiple times a day to around once a week though I would still speak with my siblings. They were literally obsessed with the idea of me leaving their home and becoming a whore, which was odd since they'd never been like that before. They have this idea that I'm a good girl gone wild. They used to let me have co-ed sleepovers and hang out with guys whenever I wanted. Anyways, I was talking to my sister, 15, and she told me about this bet that my family had made. I guess in retaliation for me not answering their calls, they were betting if I'd become a slut in college. They were speculating on when I'd lose my virginity, how many guys I'd sleep with, if I'd sleep with a girl, etc. She sent me a few screenshots and it seemed almost like a big passive-aggressive joke. It wasn't just my parents in it, it had my siblings, cousins and aunts. While they were seemingly kidding, I felt extremely embarrassed. I didn't know how to bring it up because I didn't want my sister to get in trouble for showing me so it went on for a while. I finally texted my mom about it and asked her if she would please delete the chat or at least add me to it so it wasn't just my family talking and clowning me behind my back. I didn't mention that it was my sister who had shown me it. My mother insisted that they weren't talking about me and that I was being a prima donna even though I literally have evidence. Since it was obvious that they weren't going to delete it, I told my mom that I wasn't going to come home for Christmas and I wasn't going to come visit her after her surgery, she's having surgery soon and asked me to come. Partially out of anger and because of embarrassment. Christmas is my mom's favorite holiday and she always goes all out for it. She wanted me to be her caretaker after the surgery since after Christmas, her money will be tight, and she didn't want to pay for one. She says that I'm abandoning her and I think that she stabbed me in the back. Too long did not read. Family made a bet about how much of a slut I'd become in college so now I'm not going home for Christmas and I'm not taking care of my mother. Am I the asshole? Not the asshole. Tell them you've got pregnant from an orgy and all the potential dads want to visit. Not the asshole. They would all be getting Christmas cards from me with their chats printed in them. This sounds really nuts. Who does that? Did not a single person in the family object to this line of texting amongst themselves? Your family is so far out of line. This is indecent. Don't go home for Christmas. Take the screenshots your sister sent you and print them out and send them to each of these awful relatives as a Christmas card. Their behavior is reprehensible. Not the asshole. Wow. Their little betting pool is one of the most disgusting things I've ever read about on this sub. I can't imagine talking about my own child that way. Not the asshole your family is a bunch of assholes. I'm curious, are you the first of your family to go to college? It almost sounds like they are jealous or resent your decision to go so they're disparaging you in the only way they can think of. I agree with another comment to tell your mom you can't come to Christmas or take care of her because it conflicts with the big OL holiday slut orgy you and all your slutty slut friends have slut planned for slut Christmas. Not the asshole. Your sex life is really none of their business. Your mom calling you a prima donna when you called her out says she cares more about her joke than your feelings. So fuck her feelings when you don't come home. Hold strong and don't visit. When she inevitably throws a bitch fit about how hurt she is that you didn't see her after her surgery, tell her she now knows how that chat makes you feel. When she tries to claim that's different, tell her she's being a prima donna and hang up. In fact, Throw her words back at her every time she whines at you until she apologizes and deletes the chat. You also made the right call to go low contact. What kind of garbage person slut shames their daughter just because she left home, read, gained freedom and independence away from them? NTA. Remember this isn't just about you. This is about making sure all the younger women in the family know better than to follow in your footsteps. It's a preview of the shame they would also experience. So this is probably even worse than you think. And being added to that chat, and having a serious discussion about how education isn't shameful is required. If they're not even apologizing, then they do see nothing wrong. So sorry your family is like this op.
if you have daughters, deeply consider how to manage a healthy relationship. My mom gave up, but not before some real weird stuff was said to both me and my brother. So your situation is familiar to me. My mom left and became a registered nurse. In the 80s. Not the asshole. It's fucking bizarre that your family would speculate on your sex life like that, and they sound quite overbearing since they resent you for wanting your space. You are 100% entitled to your space, and quite honestly, to an apology. Going away to college is a wonderful milestone for young adults and they turned it into this. That's really, really weird. Dot. If your mother wants you to do something for her, maybe she should try not participating in a demeaning and gross joke behind your back. Uh. Not the asshole. I wouldn't go back either. She can make other arrangements. Not the asshole. With no real basis, your entire family is sexually shaming you. This is abuse. I'm so sorry you're going through this. Not the asshole. WTF did your parents get up to in college to jump to this conclusion? Gross. You're not the asshole. Those jokes are incredibly offensive on so many levels. The fact that they were sharing them with such a wide part of the family is disturbing. I'm afraid your family has some strong internal biases that cause them to view girls and their virginity as a commodity. I'm glad you're protecting your sister but I 100% get not wanting to go home to that environment after learning it's so two-faced. Your mom can have an honest conversation with you about the family thread if she wants a strong relationship with you. Not the asshole. You can't be both a jerk and a demanding needy parent. Stay away from them, you don't owe these people your time. Not the asshole. Your mom chose to deride you behind your back. She does not get to demand favors to your face. Let her reap as she has sown. Not the asshole. Enjoy your Christmas without humiliation. Your mom can find another caretaker, as a result of her own behavior. You are 100% justified in not wanting to be around gross family members. Not the asshole. Go no contact, and if they ask why, text them the screenshots. That should be interesting for the holidays. Not the asshole. Are they really just joking? Maybe with the when etc. But it sounds like they really think you wanted to go to college to sleep around. And what is this about wanting you to take care of mother? After Christmas you have school. If they aren't going to treat you with respect they don't seem like much of a family. Not the asshole. Your parents however are, on top of being way over the top helicopter parents. They have attempted to infringe on your education to control you and use you as free labor. They, when not getting their way set up a situation guaranteed to shame you and lied to you. Their behavior has shown them to be manipulative, controlling and untrustworthy. You as an adult have every right to set boundaries of acceptable behavior and contact with all of your family. And are entitled to expect them to be met, and entitled to give out consequences for these boundaries being stepped on. The subreddit Just No Family can be of more help to you in this situation than here. They have more information and deeper help for dealing with toxic familial situations. And girl, your family is being toxic AF. Not the asshole. Disgusting. I don't know how you're still keeping contact with these people after such blatant disrespect. Not the asshole. You are living a normal, if likely reserved life of a college-aged adult. Not only that but if you so much as do a normal thing like have a drink, go to a party, or have a romantic relationship, they will take it as a sign that their disgusting behavior is justified. You should head over to our helicopter parents for some insight and advice. Not the asshole. What the fuck kind of family is this? NTA plays stupid games win stupid prizes she bad mouthed with other family with nasty jokes she now getting what she deserve your other siblings and aunts can take care of her while well she backstab you with them so she can rely on them because they are more important than you. Not the asshole. What your family has done is so awful and disrespectful. Stay at college for Christmas and get a few friends together. Not the asshole. They are being giant asshole for the way they're acting. Not the asshole. Run. Talk to the uni about it if your parents are paying. Be ready to be independent. DM me if you'd like me to look up orgs who help girls escape your situations. Don't get suckered or guilted back. This is such weird behavior and I am honestly disgusted reading it. It's beyond disrespectful, condescending and sexist, because I doubt they'd be this obsessed if you were a boy. I really think you're right to not go home until you receive a genuine apology because their behavior is fucked up in so so many ways. One million times NTA. And to add if you wanted to experiment and sleep around that would be fine too. 
disgusting to sexualize you like that. I'd put a lot of distance between you and them. Not the asshole. Go home to them with a boyfriend and girlfriend telling them you dating both of them. Not the asshole. What kind of family talks like this about a family member, let alone their daughter? Seems like the family needs some help. Not the asshole. Why is your family so obsessed with your sex life? That's so creepy. Not the asshole. Your family is horrible. Their idea of a joke is disgusting. Forward your mom the screenshots and remind her she has other children to take care of her, since you're so busy whoring around campus. Not the asshole. I'm too tired to give a big reaction right now but, I get not coming over. I'd still send a card for Christmas in my opinion but nothing else. Instead I would recommend thanking her sister etc. Not the asshole how did they even justify having the group? Like, yeah we have a family group but cannot add you because, reasons. Not like you are part of the family or anything. My advice is to make your parents put you in, if it's in WhatsApp for instance you could tell them you just want to say one thing. You normally cannot even see previous messages, and once it's done tell them you know exactly what's up, you're absolutely not cool with it and you don't know if you will eventually be able to fully forgive them. I can't imagine how painful it must be to be publicly slut shamed by your own parents. This is incredibly damaging. Possibly even more painful is the way they have manipulated you into wondering whether or not to limit your interactions. I am so sorry you have to endure this. It isn't normal and it isn't silly joking around. It is seriously mental health destroying. Not the asshole and stand your ground. Adding the fact they didn't admit what they have been saying behind your back, meaning insulted and disrespected you, they blame you for ruining Christmas, guilt trip you asking you to come only to be a freehand caretaker for your mum. Show them that their actions behaviors have consequences if you comply it would send the wrong message and normalize their disrespect controlling behaviors. Say stop, set boundaries and time out as consequences. Run 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 away as fast as you kind. Don't let your family hold you down. Loving families don't pull any of this shit on each other. Keep your siblings close but gtfo of that mindset that this is normal. Not the asshole. Honestly it sounds like your family kinda sucks. Helicopter parents to the max. Not the asshole that is gross. Why talk about family like that? Not the asshole, this is absolutely awful. I am so sorry your family is doing this to you. Your mum is also gaslighting you and it's so disappointing they even once confronted she has not taken any responsibility. Side note you have every right to meet new people at college and have new social interactions. This may involve new relationships and sexual experiences and that's okay. If you're not doing anything illegal, you're happy and safe, quite frankly it's no one else's business. Not the asshole. Play stupid game win stupid prize. Not the asshole. That. Is. Disgusting. I can't believe your family, especially your parents, are talking about your sexuality like this. It's beyond inappropriate. They are fools for thinking they can maintain a relationship with you after this. Not the asshole, she and your family were extremely hurtful about their joke. It seems like your parents only want you around because it's convenient for them and they get to control your life. Stand your ground. It's your life, live it how you wish. Not the asshole. I know this is not for everyone, but if I were you I'd embarrass them back. Go to the party like nothing happened, but act and dress the part as if college did change you how they bet on and go way further. Become descriptive and push it so far they would crack. In short, make them so uncomfortable they would never joke about something like that again. But hey that's me. You can always confront them with evidence. What they did is not embarrassing anymore, it's disgusting. Parents should be hopeful of children, not make bets how fast they become a whore. WTF. Dude, not the asshole. What the F kind of family bets on how many people their daughter will sleep with, if it will be with another girl, etc., and jokes while they assume said family member is out slutting it up at crazy orgies. Obviously they wish they were the ones getting invited to all the orgies. Pleading face sorry your family is like this, and I think it's super weird that your parents especially would joke about YPUR sexuality with all the rest of the family, in a group chat no less. I would let you sister win the bet and split the money. But so not the asshole. I could never see myself or a family member doing this even as a joke, which it clearly is not. Something tells me your mom's obsession with you becoming a slut is a bit of projection maybe in college she was a loser and just had internalized hatred for women who liked having fun while they still could. 
It's disgusting and actually disturbing. I'd completely ignore her. She did stab you in the back and lied about it. Now she wants you to take care of her damn that's cold not the asshole. Not the asshole at all. Your family is weird for having a group chat about your potential sexual endeavors. I would send her the screenshots and see how she scrambles to come up with a cover story. What in the actual fuck? Not the asshole, what they did to you is really awful and to be honest, if my family did this to me, I wouldn't know how to react. I think you should not come home for Christmas and see if they apologize to you.